so three two one hey everybody and welcome to a very strange or unusual episode of northern lion plays the binding of isaac you might be noticing assuming i've done my recording correctly that there is a twitch chat over there on the right side uh i'm streaming this live on twitch.tv right now as part of an impromptu stream that i was doing uh you know earlier this july so this should be up in a few days uh if you want to check out more impromptu streams twitch.tv slash northern lion i'm a big fan of the twitch streaming platform if you've only been watching streams on youtube or not watching streams at all well, shame on you, but we're going to do some vanilla runs here, and uh, as someone in the comments was nice enough to say, or someone in the, the chat was nice enough to say, uh, you know, this is basically like the Binding of Isaac, but with live telling me I suck from the comments. So let's get started here. We are playing as Maggie, which, uh, well, it's weird because a lot of the people watching this one right now, this is going to be like episode 550 or something, uh, but you guys haven't seen like 548 through 549, etc., etc., Northern Lion, you suck. You already fucked it up. Suck on that, boy in a barrel. We got 10 cents out of the secret room completely by accident already all right so it, you haven't seen my my form on the last few runs uh well i mean you have but you haven't seen it's not really been the last few runs if that makes any sense uh so oh shit all right that changes things pretty drastically the form on my last few runs is now literally uh meaningless provided that i can survive long enough uh to make this work for me. so this could be a really good first run here and what can i say uh, i was really worried that we would just shit our pants uh, uh oh we don't have any uh keys there the shitting the pants thing, that was not uh, about the Binding of Isaac. I was actually just worried that my irritable, ba irritable bowel syndrome and ulcerative colitis were going to flare up. And I was actually going to shit my pants live on stream, cry myself to sleep, and uh, thus lose my prolific career as a YouTube piece of garbage. Anyway, Epic Fetus in uh, basically the first item room is something that uh, happens maybe once every 100 runs. Maybe even less, actually. In an early item room, maybe once every 100 runs, but in the first uh, item room... Uh, it might be one of the first times that's ever happened to me, actually. So what better opportunity uh, to demonstrate the, the value and the, the integrity, not integrity, intensity of the, va of the uh, platform of live streaming by just basically cheating the system right off the bat. So obviously, I'm going to do some weird stuff. I'm going to take all these pills. That's not necessarily crazy weird unless I was doing it in real life as well. Now, there's a Binding of Isaac run that's super hardcore that you'll never see is someone uh, literally popping some kind of pharmaceutical every time they get a pill in the game. Maybe they get like 10 kinds of pills in front of them. They get some ecstasy, some GHB, you know, uh, some Vicodin or something. Uh, and then every time you get a pill, you assign like each one a color and then you take one of those. That could be pretty fucking silly. I mean, it, it literally would be very silly. It's probably incredibly uh, deleterious for your health. Anyway, Dead Kill says you always call it Epic Fetus. That's true. There's a few items in the Binding of Isaac that I always mess up, or a few things I always mess up. One is Epic Fetus and Fetus in a Jar. Careful. The other, oh, that's real bad, uh, is um, Little Chub and Little Chad. And I'm sure you guys have other uh, examples, because oftentimes you end up uh, realizing them more than I do, because I'm in the moment, you know, providing this semi-salient commentary that may or may not make really any sense at all remember that you can still drop bombs go to curse rooms the mark and the pact that's true the virus is poison touch i know that R you mess up go ghost baby and robo baby book of belial and um book of belial and necronomicon i hope i haven't done that for a while go to all of the rooms is actually a good suggestion because you know as good as it seems right now we're not necessarily in the clear yet uh you know we still need to prove ourselves obviously at this point uh probably Thing, I'm just checking for second secret rooms here. Obviously, the, the thing I'm most interested in is picking up uh, some HP. But uh, I'm, I'm really pleased that on the first run, I'll probably do two Isaac runs here on stream today. Um, I, I'm really pleased that the first run has ended up being like basically fucking ridiculous. Uh, at the start, at least. But if I mess up, then uh, there will be hell to pay, I suppose. So sadly, we don't have any keys. Um, I am going to go downwards i guess and go fight the bosses hopefully we can get the uh crate actually it's weird for me to say this but i'm not necessarily uh super psyched about uh, our boss room items here i would actually like to get the crate or the box which i don't really consider to be that good of an item for the most part but anyway let's see what we got here we got famine cubes of meat it might seem like oh cube of meat, whatever this actually could be really valuable even if we don't get a third level cube of meat just a, a first or second level cube of meat could actually um block me or uh, you know block some shots here which is really good this is probably the, the hardest version of monster that you can fight on the first floor the, the double pink monster because they're really fast uh but that being said we're stronger than we have any right to be on the first floor here so i, I would be very surprised if anything terrible ends up happening and we have a deal with the devil 
Uh, I would have to say that a uh, flying item is probably in our best interest, or a spacebar item like uh, the nail would probably be. Oh, well, we're gonna fight Krampus instead. Now, someone out there, this is the the beauty of uh, you know the live stream platform. Can someone find out? You know, tweet at Bizsnap if he's not recording right now. If uh, Epi or if Fetus in a Jar benefits from getting lump of coal. Either way, uh, even though we are not able to get the uh, second item room here, or get to the second item room, uh, that was a beautiful first item room for us. Sorry, first uh, floor for us. Now, it did turn our bombs. This is the thing that always gets me to Binding of Isaac, because I, I think, or like, the, my intuition, we found the second secret room by accident. Thank you very much, uh, very benevolent green bomb man, for all of those hearts that I can't use. Um, but it, if something changes the way your shot looks, I always assume you know, via uncommon sense, that uh, it should change the way your shot acts, too. So now that our uh, bombs are, you know, a different shade... Oh, we got a key there. Excellent. I, I always feel like um, they should have some kind of different effect. I think Isaac is too loud. Is that true? I can always turn it down very simply. I am trapped in the corner here, like R. Kelly, but not with clothes around me. Uh, we are going to get a second level key loot, which is awesome. No, Isaac is not too loud. Northern Lion, let's get Blue Snap on the stream. If I was going to do that, and I, I'm planning on doing it at some point, I probably should have, uh, you know, tweeted him before we started here. All right, so uh, let me uh, give me a second here. I'm just going to crank Isaac down just a little bit. That actually didn't do anything. I'm going to go into the... Now, don't break the stream here on me. This would be bad. Go into the mixer. The mixer opens. You guys can see it right now uh, if you're watching on YouTube, and then we'll just lower it just a touch here. All right, so that should make it... Ah, I, I accidentally bombed myself there. Okay. Now we're okay. Stream is borked. Break stream. The wiki is worse than BizSnap. Wow, that is needlessly antagonistic, I would say. All right. Uh, are you still streaming later, Scumlord Northern Line? That is probably not. Lump of Coal works with Dr. Fetus, I think. Nobody seems to have a definitive answer, uh, but everybody's got a hunch, and that's okay, you know. I've got my own hunches when it comes to the Binding of Isaac. Obviously, we are just... Uh, Basically going to every single room that we have the opportunity to do so, mostly because uh, I, I need more keys. I really want to go to the shop uh, because at this point, like, what do I want? Map and compass are huge. They would allow us to speed through much of the rest of the game. Uh, even if we just got the compass, it would be fine because, uh, you know, with uh, Epic, or sorry, with, this is not Epic Fetus. It's Fetus in a Jar. We are Dr. Fetus, let's call it. With Dr. Fetus, uh, I can just blow my way through all of the rooms on the shop, or sorry, on the womb in utero, much the way... Like, your mother blew her way to the top of the record industry. Now, I should probably drop some bombs to make these guys a little easier to kill, but I don't think it's totally necessary, because uh, I can just run away here. Curse Room, Northern Line, you've got loads of hearts. Northern Line, go to the Curse Room. Maybe I will. You're not even my real mom. Probably. That would be a little strange, I'll admit. Oh, come on. Just destroy the... Yes, one more shot should do it here. Nick Narcotic is giving me the middle finger here with Dr. Fetus. Which, you know, that doesn't seem totally unreasonable. There is a second key for us, so the shop should be totally viable. Uh, I'm also just quickly checking for uh, what I feel would be likely locations for the secret room. I really hate uh, Curse of Darkness, though, or Curse of Blindness. And again, that's another thing I always mess up. Let's just toss a bomb in the middle here. Uh, that made uh, my life substantially harder here. There we go. That one's pretty good. Uh, and we'll just drop some bombs in here with one fly left. That's what I've been in the second Meat Boy is awesome. Oh, fuck. I actually think uh, Odd Mushroom might actually me here. Does it make me fire bombs faster? It seems like I might be firing a little bit faster. I can't tell. But there's another key for us, which means I actually can open up this golden chest as well. Look at it. Everyone in the comments is now under, or in the Twitch chat, is now understanding what I go through on a regular basis uh, when it comes to the Binding of Eyes videos on YouTube, where everyone's like, it does, it doesn't, it does, it doesn't. Nobody has a definitive source of information, man. This, is, uh, this happens so... Okay, you know what? Here you go. I will sacrifice my spirit heart to go in here to the curse room. And we got uh, two spirit hearts. And you know what? I will go with Guppy's head as well. So thank you for encouraging me to do so. Because that actually turned out really well in this situation. Uh, we... I have a new message on Twitch. That's cool. Now, I shouldn't have said that because now I'll get like 17. But uh, we will definitely buy the ladder. I think it's probably in our best interest to buy a key as well. Just to make sure we can go to the item room on the next floor. And uh, down to the next floor. Now, in this is a great item for me to get uh, on a stream like this because I guarantee that I am going to forget to use Guppy's head all the time and people are going to freak the F out. So we are on Caves Bar 2. It should be a pretty easy floor. Um, 
here we go. We'll just bust this open and then run over. It should be a pretty easy floor uh, because we can actually see where we're going. So I'm going to plan out my key use accordingly. If I find the secret room and it has a lot of money in it, we might go to the shop first. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably prioritize going to the item room. Uh, we'll drop a bomb in here just in case it was the secret room, and it is. Three cents is not really enough uh, for me to justify this, I think. Or justify going to the shop, I should say. So let's uh, keep going onwards down here. And we'll drop another bomb down here. Now, it, it, this is one of those runs where things are definitely going to be really easy for a little while. There we go. Now we have enough money to probably justify uh, the shop as opposed to the item room. Or the judgment as well. But, you know, we'll see if we have any money left over in a little bit. Uh, we'll buy the other spirit heart. And I almost... I, I'm going to buy the other key as well. I know this might seem a little crazy. Um... Uh, you just bought the ladder, Northern Lion? Wait, wait, what's wrong with buying the ladder? The ladder's a sweet item, man. It's one of my favorites. With uh, six cents, I wouldn't necessarily say that we have a, a great chance of getting something from Judgment here. But, uh, you know, we'll dedicate the rest of our money on this floor to him. He's giving us extra keys uh, and at a much cheaper price. Um, we have another bomb and one more cent. He doesn't pay out yet, but I believe he will pay out uh, in the future. People are like, you forgot you have the ladder all the time. That's not true. I can bomb my way across gaps and stuff, but there are going to be uh, situations where there's no rocks to uh, bomb my way towards, so it doesn't matter. Did that Meat Boy just destroy um, that turret in one hit? That was amazing. Okay, just back it up from there a little bit. Not sure he'll pay enough attention. There's the irony. I just saw in, in the Twitch chat someone said, not sure he'll pay enough attention. Uh, and then I'm thinking, like, I didn't pay enough attention to actually see what I'm not paying attention about. PhD, that is a really good item. I have had great, um, really great luck, actually, when it comes to the items so far. Uh, you guys haven't seen them yet, but in a lot of the recent episodes that I recorded off-camera, Bob's Rotten Head, I would rather stick with, um, well, you know what? I really should have used that moon card to go to the item room, I suppose. Or is the moon the item room? Here we go. The moon is the secret room, correct? If the moon is the secret room, uh, that's doesn't help me out that much because with epic fetus i could find it anyway okay moon is the secret room stars are the item room noted yeah, let's play it cool here uh yeah you haven't seen the recent isaac episodes but i've had a, a pretty decent string of like absolutely awful luck yes boy in the barrel you are right it's unlikely that i will pay enough attention to have you guys guide me through the run and keep in mind there is also like a four or five second delay uh, on what you guys are seeing. So although I, I can understand romanticizing the idea of like have the Twitch viewers decide everything you do, it also might make for like really slow content because I'll be like, okay, I've got a decision, guys. Let's set up a straw poll. Come to think of it, that actually sounds kind of fun. But uh, I will go back and uh, give this money to judgment. I left one cent back there apparently, which is uh, something that I will go back and pick up in the future. Uh, just wanted to get the boss room out of the way, just because I superstitiously believe that if you get the boss room out of the way, don't take damage, you may or may not have a better chance of getting a deal with the devil. And I guess the only thing I really want from a deal with the devil uh, is uh, a flying item or... Oh, deal with the angel, interesting. Or a, um, uh, the nail. Hanged man. Interesting. Probably better off going with the moon card. Sacred heart! Of course, on the fucking run, where I also get, uh the fetus in a jar i get sacred heart this is I, I can't stress enough that this is the most staggering luck uh that i've had in a long time and of course sacred heart is i believe anyway fucking useless for us but it does at the very least uh make for an awesome explosion though yeah as people in the chat are correct here um, just, oh god say oh, i knew i was gonna take damage there but yeah as of right now can't really complain the only serious negative uh, that's not working for me right now is the fact that uh, I don't have a ton of health. I could use a little bit more, but um, let's see. Maybe Judgment. Judgment's pretty likely to pay out with uh, some money. Even if he only gives me what he's given me so far, that's pretty good. I mean, he, he's given me um, a couple of keys and some bombs, and there is this, remember. Uh, there's no money in here, but we might get a consumable at the end. I was really hoping there would just be like an HP upgrade in there. There are some sweet explosions on these sacred heart bombs. Oh my god, it's like a Kenny Loggins planetarium show or something. That joke. Oh, they do home as well. I didn't realize. I guess it doesn't have a damage increase, uh, but it does uh, actually the, the bomb's home, which is effective, I guess. We didn't get any extra money. Now, where, uh, I guess I blow up the judgment. Uh, is there any reason why not to in this situation? I don't think there's any money awaiting us on this floor. We picked up two bombs as a result. I will probably never be able to use those. Uh, use the moon card. Don't lie to me. I will use the moon card on the next floor. 
and go to the secret room right away, I guess, because I, I, at this point I could really use the money. Get the umbilical cord, you need a trinket. I don't think that's necessary. I don't even like the umbilical cord. Um, so, let's just pop the moon card right away. It is a fortune teller, which we can blow up, basically free of charge. We're going to get something here. It's a pill, we have PhD, and it's a health upgrade. Who would have thought that that would actually end up uh, turning out as well as it did? So, as of right now, I'm pretty pleased with the way things are going. Uh, that is, That should be obvious at the very least. Justice card means we'll get some health back, some bombs, a penny, and a key. Uh, we are, I guess, since we're on Necropolis 1, we still want to prioritize shops if we can find them. Uh, but until we get money, obviously, the uh, item room is going to be our number one priority. And what do I want? Again, compass, map, blue candle. I'm not sure uh, what else would be really be that useful from the shop. Yeah, why not? That was a, a terrible trade. I, well, I guess technically, if you if you consider that bombs and keys are equal, that was a good trade. You got like a penny plus of by doing the bombs or key thing. But since bombs are like totally uh, useless for us in this situation, we spawn them you know natively in the form of you know they're on the scale of like several dozens per room. Uh, the bombs don't really necessarily give us all that much. So wasting a key there sucks. But you know who dares wins. Opening golden chests is a it's a risky proposition, but sometimes it does end up working out well for you. Health-wise, we are still fine. The other thing I, I want, obviously, uh, as I've mentioned many times, is the ability to fly. Um, that that would give me a huge bonus. Oh, there we go. Uh, you can't hit me. Na 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 boo boo. That was almost. Yo, oh, careful here. I hate these double spiders, man. I don't know why. Recently, spiders and double spiders have become like some of my most hated enemies in the game. Just something about the way that they path. Um, okay, these guys should be super easy. What's really interesting to me is the way that uh, different enemies kind of change in their effectiveness based on uh, what items that you have. I mean, it's not necessarily unusual, but enemies like uh, Mask of Infamy, for example, not really that big of a deal uh, when we are dealing with um, the Epic, or sorry, Feed in a Jar, which we already have. Actually, the attack flies here, or Halo flies, is, is amazing for us. A ton of extra defense. Uh, but um, yeah, but other enemies, like obviously spiders and flies that just kind of run at you, uh, or fly at you, or scurry at you, I guess if we're going to be 100% accurate here, suddenly become like serious threats. And that's why it's great to have this um, cube of meat plus uh, the fly army around me. Now, I actually did not want to get the left hand here, uh, but I, I picked it up nonetheless, just because you guys will be mad at me if I don't pick up red chests as often as possible. Really good item, though. Um, not, not the left hand, but the halo of flies, so I'm, I'm glad we went down there. Uh, we have a, a, a situation here live. Oh my god, I'm not sure if you heard that, but my cat just uh, like jumped up onto my desk. I just got to make sure that all my screen regions are still set up. He like clawed his way up my back uh, and then jumped. That one bomb was not enough to kill that fly. Well, he did give me an eternal heart, so I'm going to stop complaining now. Um, but I'm, and maybe it was like the bomb exploded against the wall or something, and that kept him from coming up. Uh, again, we'll keep using Guppy's head. I feel like I've been all right about using Guppy's head. Probably could be better. You know what? I'm going to gamble that Greed is in here. That didn't work. I want the map desperately now. Um, I was gambling that Greed was in there, and it would basically give me, uh, you know, free money for fighting him. And Greed should be a, a reasonably easy fight at this point in the game. Uh, sadly, no such luck, so I might have just wasted a key. But, you know, it was a five-cent gamble. I could go back in there and just buy a key. They did have one on sale. Um... Well, it wasn't really on sale. It was full price, but it, it was for retail. It was retailing, I guess I should say. I don't know. I don't run a store. Don't ask me about the nomenclature. What's a fire sale? I've never seen a fire at a fire sale. Um, that's probably a good thing. I'm not wishing, you know, arsony on anybody, but still, like, be literally accurate, please. All right, this guy is starting to piss me off a little bit. I, what's the point of homing bombs if they actually can't hit anything? Are, are you kidding me? This is uh, getting to the point where it's kind of absurd here. There we go. Uh, might as well fight the boss right away. Maybe we get Pageant Boy and we can buy the map in there. Uh, maybe we fight the bloat and I get hit right away. Um, and start getting my ass kicked. Man, this, this fight has not started well, that's for sure. Uh, but I'm going to make sure that it ends well in all likelihood. Although, man, this bloat is being kind of a real douchebag about A, the way his eyes are going, and B, uh, the way he's jumping. That was really poor play by me, but hey, we did get the crate, which uh, contains... A little bit of extra money. Uh, burnt Penny is obviously totally worthless for us in this situation. Range upgrade uh, may or may not be useful. I'll default to BizSnap in the chat there for an interest. Um, and what else do we have in here? The Mitre. Fantastic. I mean, deals with the Angel have been very good to us so far, obviously. Sacred Heart. Uh, but beyond that, uh, also picking up the Mitre. The Mitre is going to give us a ton of Spirit Hearts. Uh, and we're good.
good. Yeah, the, you're, you guys are right, by the way. This is uh, some of the greatest items that you can get all in the same run of the Binding of Isaac. Like, Sacred Heart and Fetus in a Jar are good enough at, at my level, which is not to say that I'm good. It's actually the opposite, to say that I'm kind of silly sometimes. Uh, but they're good enough, even at my level, is perhaps a better way to phrase it, uh, th to say that um, they're enough to kind of carry you through the run all by their lonesome. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, even the Miter... Uh, what else do we have here? Not Gubby's Paw, really, but the the defense that we have, along with that, um, you know, th those add a, an extra benefit as well that could make it possible for you to beat a run uh, if you got lucky or got some other good items associated with it. So we are on our last floor here. The other thing is, like, if I don't use Guppy's uh, head, a lot of the times it's because I just kind of feel like it's a waste of time uh, for now because I don't really uh, need it for, like, 80% of the rooms that I go into. Uh, mostly, I just kind of blow these guys away with uh, uh, a single bomb, and that's good enough. Now, I realize that there is an arcade there. I'm, I'm tempted. This is definitely a room where I would like to... Oh, okay, that was real scary. Um, I, I do want to go to the, the blood bank and see if I can get a, a blood bag, get the speed up, get the uh, HP as well. Uh, we'll see if that ends up working out for us. I want to make sure that there's enough red hearts on the level, because uh, recently, not to spoil anything, you can find the second secret room there, but not to spoil anything... But I had some bad experiences where blood bags have kind of ended up screwing me up just a little bit. Our red chest here contains two live bombs. Not really all that excited. Are not all that exciting. Uh, D20. I know people are going to want me to roll with a D20. But I kind of prefer Guppy's head in this situation. Um, let us move onwards here. I realize people want me to do the D20 action. Um, I, oh, you're right, actually. D20 plus the arcade is amazing. So maybe I'll go pick up the D20 when I go to that blood bank, uh, and we'll make some good stuff happen. Now, I should be able to get an extra key and penny here. It's looking like the shop is going to be viable. I'm pretty likely, uh, or I'm pretty, I'm thinking it's pretty likely, I guess is the accurate way to phrase that, um, that I'm going to end up with greed in this shop, so I kind of just want to fight it right away. Remember that we will get enough money to go to the shop at the at the very least. Uh, simply, or uh, uh, yeah, enough money to go to the shop at the very least, simply because I had the uh, blood bank connection as well. Um, but for now, that's what we're going to have to do. I expected greed to be in there, and indeed he was. Let us go uh, lose all of our money and potentially health at the arcade and uh, see what this D20 does for us. Now, is the D D20 better than Guppy's head moving forwards? Maybe. It also requires... Um, a little bit of extra time, which I'm not necessarily... Oh, I walked into that by accident. I'm not necessarily the greatest fan of. Uh, let us go over to the right here. Curse room and then the fool card. I mean, that is a possibility. Um, I'm just not that interested in it, though. Okay. So we're just going to get some... We're not going to get the money here. We're just going to play this. I have enough spirit arts to survive for a long time. I'm not even going to take the nickels, honestly. Um, because if those re-roll into bombs or keys, that's more worth it for me. So that was very lucky. We'll pop the D20. Um, <clears throat> I'll take the keys. I don't want to take the single pennies. Oh my god, cat. This now is not the time. I'm engaging in, in fisticuffs here. Put this down here. Um, okay, wait, I, I've clicked off the screen somehow. There we go. Uh, and the frame rate has gone down to zero. Oh, I, okay, I didn't get the penny. I don't want the bomb either, but I do want the spirit heart and the tarot card. So the tarot card is the devil, and we did get the spirit heart. Now, the red chests. Let's open up these red chests. Um, pills, that's really good because we have PhD. <clears throat> I got the bomb by accident. We might as well just... Oh, my God. More spirit hearts. Fantastic. This is really good uh, with the left hand, actually. Are these... What are these pills? Speed upgrades. Okay, let's get real crazy. So we got two speed upgrades. Um, I did pick up the penny. We got a health upgrade. Uh, and we got something we've never seen before. Bad gas. That's not necessarily what I would consider good. But anyway, uh, that was really good. I know it's not even worth it to take the pennies, but it's also not worth my time to try to tiptoe around them, I think. Uh, so, I'm trying to think of maybe we should go with Guppy's head. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter. Let's go with the D20 because it'll be more fun. Oh, Devil Card is useless, by the way, since Biznap. Fuck. Oh, well. Uh, but, yeah, they, I'm... Uh, I'm going to stick with the D20 just because Guppy's head is not really going to help us out here. Um, largely because we're already doing so much damage that we might as well just have some fun with this whole situation. Uh, so if we find another room with a lot of co uh, collectibles or consumables on it, uh, we will definitely take the opportunity to use the D20 and possibly it'll pan out for us. I mean, we basically got uh, two speed upgrades and a health upgrade and a ton of spirit arts as a result of our involvement there. First, that was probably uh, the worst damage that I've taken so far this run. See what we have here. Um, 
What's a tears upgrade? Again, I don't know if tears upgrades actually affect us here. Um, well, another Scooter Heart kind of compensates for the damage that it took right there. There is a... Oh, thank God that all three of those happen to be over there. There is a Tinted Rock here. So we'll uh, see what we get here. Small Rock, I guess, doesn't really interest me all that much. And we have the Blood Bank again. So, okay, we can totally... Uh, abuse this so just be careful and don't accidentally blow up the blood bank like you just did um so i really wanted to not blow it up and go to the mob trap room but in my defense there was like a homing tier uh or homing bomb that caused that we have the hermit card not really that useful moving forward um i guess we'll just leave now i understand that the devil card is not useful in this situation that being said I, i'm superstitious about it can i say I, i've learned so much from this run already we're already about halfway through mom. Yeah, just be a little cautious here. Back it up. The good news is with these homing bombs, I don't have to worry about like where my bombs land that much. As long as they're in the right range, it should be easy enough uh, to succeed here. Because um, what I'm mostly worried about is shooting the bombs too far. Uh, but in this situation, they kind of curl back around if, if necessary, so it's all good. Uh, now, what do I want here? Obviously, the Polaroid is a, a necessity or an inevitability, not... It's not, I guess it is a necessity if I want to go to the chest. Um, but beyond that, I still want the nail. I would get rid of the D20 if I could get the nail. The range upgrade was probably not what I was most excited about here. So let's take our Polaroid. Uh, we'll take Mom's heels just because they make us look fabulous. We look like a, a cross-dressing version of, version of Total Biscuit right now. Uh, and let's just, okay, here's what I'm thinking now is, yes, we could probably shoot our way through these rooms really easily, but we could also, uh, bomb our way through these rooms really easily. Although, to be fair, if I'm gonna, like, waste bombs, uh, blowing up doors and trying to avoid shots, I should probably just kill everything, because it's only gonna take two seconds. Let's not get cocky here. Um... It's okay. Okay, we're fighting Lust. We have, like, ten speed upgrades, so we should be okay. Uh, not to mention that crazy damage. We do get another pill, and the pill is another range upgrade, which I believe has zero impact for us. We can leave that devil card back here because it's not useful. Thank you for the tip to blow up all the rocks. I do almost always forget about that, uh, that all of these could actually be uh, tinted rocks in hiding. Uh, so we're going to McCarthy the shit out of these rocks, thinking that they might be communists. Um, Maggie's Faith, uh, too bad we didn't have Mom's Purse. That could make for some interesting stuff uh, for us, but uh, sadly... We don't. If we got that a little early. If we got that when we uh, would have had the opportunity to pick up on Bellicle Court, I would have been excited about that. You know what? Fuck that, Ross. I don't want the Spirit Heart that badly. I hate that these guts can just take two bombs on the chin. Uh, kind of reminds me of your mother in that respect. That one actually managed to work. Uh, let's get our... Oh, we did manage to find the boss room right away, which is awesome. And uh, I took probably the worst little bit of damage that I possibly could there. Uh, I should never say that I just took the worst damage I possibly could, because I always follow it up by taking an unprecedented, like, shitty spell of damage. Um, you know what? I, I kind of just want to use D20 to reroll what we have here, but let's see what we've got. Um, we're going to get a third level cube of meat. That's going to make things certainly interesting uh, moving forwards, and we may actually earn a deal with the devil on this room as well. Uh, it might be a little unlikely. I'm thinking about using D20 on that golden key, and this is like, forgive me, it's the only situation I think where that would ever be a possibility. It's a risky situation. I should really shoot these bombs in like diagonally, because otherwise he pushes them like a big asshole, uh, like into me. There we go. We didn't get a deal with the devil, which is unfortunate. Uh, let us reroll these. We got two more keys as a result for that. We'll be able to make good use of those in the chest, hopefully. Uh, and down to the next floor again. So so far so good. Do I really say cube of meat? I thought I say cube of meat. My enunciation or pronunciation is not always perfect, I guess, but. Oftentimes, it's just regional differences as well, you know? Scumbag Americans think they invented the English language. You would pronounce something different than them. It's all like, oh, you don't know how to speak English. I don't know how to speak your English, motherfucker. It's not called speaking American. It's called speaking English. We still uh, salute the queen before every hockey game. You hosers up there uh, with your, I don't know. I, I lost the, the flavor of the diatribe here. Yes. Um, yeah, just be cool. Um, I don't like this room at all. Uh, or any of these enemies, really. These are some of my least favorite enemies in the game, stacked up against one another. Um, there we go. Thank you, Meat Boy, for making my job a little bit easier on me. Probably should have just left those coins there, just in case I had the opportunity to reroll everything there in the future. 
Uh, Eddie plans to take Total Biscuit to task on the challenge that he laid down in his Skulls of the Shogun video. Absolutely, I've been talking to TB on Skype. We were originally going to do something for a uh, war game, but then uh, things fell through in the matchmaking system in that game, for whatever reason, didn't work for us. Um, so now, yeah, we're definitely planning on getting something going for Skulls of the Shogun, which I'm excited about, because uh, in war game, I'm pretty sure he would have handed me my ass on a silver platter due to his, like, RTS... Um, skills and even if you're like oh tb is not that good at rts i actually don't know uh but i don't play rts at all so um you know with the exception of dota and war game is definitely like a a hardcore uh, rts even if it's not very micro heavy uh but skulls of the shogun i have um you know fairly substantial experience meat boy i would appreciate it if you didn't do that i have fairly substantial experience in it, even if i'm not that good at it so uh, i think i've got a decent chance yes i understand bomb all the rocks i'm i'm lazy though you have to Get that through your head that sometimes I'm ignorant, sometimes I, I just don't know, sometimes I'm lazy though. Alright, we got a single bomb out of that. I'm not blowing up any more rocks. This is not how I want to spend my life. There we go, we found a tinted rock by accident. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, there we go, that actually worked out okay. Thank you, Miter, for giving us a staggering amount of spirit hearts that uh, I'm extraordinarily thankful for in all actuality. Uh, we got another key and another bomb, so I would say it is time for us to go straight up against mom's heart here this should be uh, a no-brainer normally of course mom's heart uh, is one of those fights where you want to have a, a ton of bombs well how about unlimited bombs that also uh, you know home in one thing I have noticed though that was awful damage is that um, mom's heart when you like really harangue her like uh, keep uh, on her ass with these bombs why are they homing in the middle Fucking programming sometimes man um, but uh, when she actually does drop an enemy like a boss that doesn't die in one hit, uh, she disappears in like two seconds. Obviously, we won't see that now because uh, we're going to just get through this room as quickly as possible. Uh, let's just go to the cathedral. I guess I do have D20 uh, saved up. So uh, sadly, we are on like an XL floor. Or not an XL floor, obviously, but um, a uh, Curse of Blindness floor, which is probably my least favorite of all the curses, I have to say. Mostly because it's like, hey, I really want to get the map and the compass. That's my impression of myself. And then it's like, hey, I got the map and the compass, and I got a big smile on my face. Uh, and then it's like, oh, the, the you know, troll face, binding of Isaac, dot meme, JPEG. Uh, I don't even know. Sorry? I, I, I don't know memes anymore. I don't subscribe from our advice animals like two years ago. Not that I'm so cool. Um, all right, so this is a tricky room. Really gonna rely on Meat Boy to not be a fucking idiot here. Uh, I think that's probably unlikely. Have we killed? We've killed three now. The problem is that I think, due to Sacred Heart, the bombs no longer bump into enemies, uh, but they just kind of bounce off them, which varies in a. Like I don't even know what happened that time. Like that bomb just stood right beside me. I get it that you know I, I smell real nice. That's why I put on the Axe body spray every morning. But. Uh, you know, give me some independence, please. Throw your hands up at me. All right. So I've been playing pretty badly uh, on these floors, I'll admit. But uh, we should be able to kill Daddy Long Legs pretty quickly. Another one of my least favorite bosses. Let's see what we've got in this room. I know you're tempted to, you know, pop open the golden or the chest. It's going to have a lot of things, and then you can use the D20 to reroll it. It'll be hilarious. Um, no. That's, that's my solution to that issue right there. Back it up. I should be able to take these guys out. As much as I hate the vaginal silkworms, I should be able to take out the bomb flies pretty quickly. That is a D20-ish room if I've ever seen one. Uh, more spirit hearts is fantastic. I don't want the bombs, uh, but I might just pick them up anyway because I'm unlikely to come back here. The strength card could be beneficial. Uh, and more hearts that I can't really use, but uh, sure. We'll, we'll leave that room there just in case we end up having to backtrack here. And we get a uh, D20 charge, which could save my life. I mean, unlikely, because our, our Spirit Heart coverage is, is really good right now. We're covered by Spirit Hearts like Allstate or something. Okay, so we'll wait for one more come down here, and then we'll just fire a single bomb. That'll do it. And more Spirit Hearts. This is crazy. Northern Lion, you got to tell chat to stop, stop being so scummy. Uh, you know, if I had the control over that, um, you know, I'd be in a different position today, wouldn't I? These speed pills are insane. Uh, let's go to the right here. I've had very good luck finding our boss room so far uh, fairly quickly. And it, it has been luck because I don't have the map or the compass. Uh, in fact, our shops didn't turn out that well for us with the exception of buying, you know, like 20 spirit hearts. That is the curse room. Uh, this is a slot machine which will blow up because it could pay out with something unlike the rusty key that would actually be useful. Rusty key sounds like the worst seafood restaurant of all time. 
uh, bomb I don't need, so we'll just leave it there again for possible D20 shenanigans later, I suppose. We have reached a dead end. Uh, thank you, another spirit heart, which is kind of crazy right now. And we got Demon Judgment. Oh, I know you're tempted to tell me to play this Demon Judgment, but I'm not going to do it. Instead, uh, I'm just going to drop some bombs on Isaac here and probably succeed uh, in what I have to imagine is really quickly. The only downside about this fight, actually, I'm going to save the strength card for the blue baby fight because uh, this is one of those rare situations where I basically feel like this Isaac fight is automatic. Uh, but we're in a, a kind of a shitty situation. I wish I could just turn off or like toggle Meat Boy for this fight because uh, our bombs are going to do like 80% of the damage and Meat Boy is going to be responsible for getting like 100% of the shots shot at us. So uh, I would say that fight went pretty well. Let's go down to the next floor. Uh, and we'll see what we've got in our chests here. First chest. Now, we've been staggeringly lucky so far, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get lucky down here as well. Um, homing bombs, we already have them, but sure, this is not awful, I guess. Mega bombs, this is actually kind of amazing. Uh, it's Little Chad. So, oh, I can remember every time. Oh, no, little, that is Little Chad. Okay, and the relic. Well, uh, we should have enough spirit hearts. I, I, I should have re-rolled those golden, golden chests. You're right. Uh, we should have enough spirit hearts to carry us through now. Now we have mega bombs that, like, oh, double homing. So, um, I think we're probably going to be okay. I mean, I guess I should pick up a uh, little Chad here just for the red heart drops. It'll at least give us the opportunity to have more uh, D20 re-rolls, I guess. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the way this has gone so far. Uh, Bob's Curse apparently doesn't wor work with Epictetus. Oh, Epictetus in a jar. I didn't know that. Um, but we didn't get Bob's Curse, thankfully. Uh, I think you were just uh, adding some flavor there. Uh, we got Mr. Mega, which I am okay with. Uh, I don't think the homing would stack. I believe you are correct. I don't think, like, they, they double, they have double effectiveness or anything when they home. I just think it's funny that, you know, we got two of the same item, essentially. Although, you know, one of them was Sacred Heart. Oh, and Polyphemus! Sure, why not? Um, I mean, we have Sacred Heart, Polyphemus, Fetus in a Jar, Mr. Mega. This is insane. The Relic, the Mitre. Uh, this is the like the, the craziest build uh, that I've seen just natively dropping in a long long time People are saying fuck your luck man. My luck on this run is crazy, but you should see uh, Some other runs that I have I mean you can obviously I just fed that dude his own asshole in the form of a bomb here uh, And again me boy is just like man. I, this is the first time I've ever been summoned at this level and I don't have anything to do These chubs are actually surprisingly tanky uh, I suppose uh, oop, back it up a little bit, and like, so, oh, Meat Boy, that's the only thing that can kill me right now, is like Meat Boy kicking 20 bombs back at me, that should kill him, we got another Spirit Heart for our troubles there, uh, and we're gonna look for our boss room, sadly we're not gonna find it right away, but, um, again, I, I really, I, I am all, I'm almost at a loss for, like, commentary to provide, I think that's even a health upgrade pill, uh, it is, um, I'm almost at a loss for commentary to provide, uh, because we are doing, like, we have stupid items right now. This is seriously like the, the most overkill items. If I could spread these items out over three runs, it would probably turn into three runs that are relatively easy. Uh, but because we're in the position that we're in, uh, it's going to become one run that's like crazy easy. But, you know, it couldn't have happened at a better, better time than the first like live Isaac run on Twitch. Uh, so let's drop some more bombs in here. Like so. And remember, we are doing an Isaac run right after this one as well. So... Never fear if you're uh, not enjoying the first run that we have here because it's too easy. But I always enjoy these runs. I don't know if you enjoy watching them. I enjoy playing them, though. It makes you feel like you're a real strong dude. And I don't always get that uh, feeling in my everyday life, you know. So let's come up here. I think it became sadder than I expected. Uh, okay, it's all fine. I'm not going to start an Indiegogo campaign to buy a, a trapezoidal weights and grow a mustache. Uh, sadly, we have missed all of our uh, rooms here. Or sorry, all our boss room completely. Northern Lion, will you do Let's Plays of Shovel Knight and Rogue Legacy? Well, uh, Rogue Legacy, absolutely. Shovel Knight, it's still up in the air. The only reason I know about Rogue Legacy is because, uh, you know, it comes out next week and I've already recorded some episodes of it. So, yes, that will indeed be happening. Uh, but Shovel Knight, it, it's still, um, I don't know how far away from release it is, but it's too far away for me to have a final build. Uh, and I don't want to, you know, start a, a Let's Play without a final build of the game. Anyway, uh, let's hang out here. Uh, again, of course, I'm getting the most bombs. Uh, that I could possibly use. I have 40. I mean, here's the thing. It seems like I have a ton of bombs, and like that's funny because I don't need them. But the only reason I have 49 bombs, or one of the only reasons I have 49 bombs, is obviously uh, because uh, I haven't used any bombs except you know, for my regular epic fetus shots or fetus in a jar shots over the course of the entire game. Please die. 
Like, you are kind of being a serious dick right now. This is kind of an asshole room that we can run into. Um, I don't... I don't even know how many spirit hearts we have, but I would be surprised if we die uh, anytime soon. The AIDS poop is really annoying here. Uh, please eat this. He's not going... Ah! Oh, I got hit again. He usually only takes like two or three shots at this point, though. And hit again. All right. So I lost like six spirit hearts in this room. I'm, you know, lucky enough to be in a position where I can afford that, but uh, still, I'm not pleased with it. Single bomb is enough to kill the widow, though. That's a, a nice change of pace. Uh, and like so. Good. And we got a spirit heart drop for our troubles. That was a, a terrible room. Uh, but we got two spirit heart drops, and we'll reroll that. And we got uh, Abel. Sure. Th again, this has been the craziest luck that I've had in uh, quite some time. Just randomly, like, re-rolling a single re half red heart and picking up an item instead is pretty amazing. Uh, let's just back it up here a little bit. Uh, people are like, wow, really? I know. I, I, I understand your incred incredulity. I understand how you could be incredulous right now, given the, the crazy luck that we've had so far. All right, what do you say we uh, beat Blue Baby and kind of end the game here? Uh, I'm probably just going to tank these shots in all honesty. So far, I'd say, I mean, he's already like 50% dead. Clear the chest, please. We are probably only missing one room, so I hope you'll forgive me uh, this time. So, one more hit should do it. And we actually got a spirit out for killing Blue Baby as well, which I guess is fitting. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you're watching on Twitch, thanks for coming out live. Uh, but if you're watching on YouTube, uh, feel free to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash northernline. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you had the chat as well, or I hope you enjoyed having the chat as well. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Continue these testing and challenge runs in the comments, and I will see you next time.